Hello, and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 331. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Hello. Hi, hello, Noel. We're here to talk about Family Reunion, season three, episode three. We're here. I mean, we're here. We're this here. Is, this is rough. This is really rough. I have very few notes. I have like two pages of notes. Usually it's like four. Well, because these episodes suck. Nothing's happening. This is a bad show. Good. Right. But it, the problem is it's just a bad show. This is a bad show. If you want to listen to a good show, then you know what you should do. You should listen to our other podcast, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, Catfish Trash Talk. Go over to Patreon. You can listen to mm-hmm. So Pumped a Vanderpump Rules podcast, Macaroni Rascals, a Jersey Shore podcast. You could listen to Recycled with Noel and Michael, which is my new favorite podcast. They cover Real Housewives of New Jersey season two right now. Um, they're mm-hmm. covering some movies. It's called Recycled Goes to the Movies. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and there's just like a whole bunch of stuff over there, including our favorite podcast, BS, where we just BS, which really is my favorite podcast. That is my favorite podcast mm-hmm. too. Um, so guys, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast is where you could find that. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Noel's at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twi- Twitter, and TikTok. Twick talk. <laughs> Twick talk. Twick talk. A Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I can't call it X. That's not real. Right. But like, is that its new name? Mm-hmm. Is that fully its name? It's not mm-hmm. Twitter anymore. Mm-mm. That's silly. Yeah. Well, I can't call it that. So yeah, that's I how won't. that goes. <laughs> well, uh, to jump into the podcast, Teen Mom Family Reunion, season three, episode three, Sean has been letting Jade down and he feels so guilty. Oh, he's guilty. He's embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sean's hung over. Sean is hung over. He has the scaries. He has, you know, people wake up very anxious the next day, mm-hmm. not feeling well. That's what he has. You have that weird anxiety, depression after drinking. Sean's hung over. That's Sean's what he hung over. Sean doesn't really feel like all of this. Okay. So he can't drink. And then Jade wakes up sick. Also, she had viral pneumonia before she got there. So she went there with pneumonia. Here's what annoys me. She goes, I basically had viral pneumonia. Why no, do people did say didn't. Why do people say that? You did or you didn't. You said I basically had it. So you did or you didn't. Right. Which is it? I hate the play on words. Right. Also, so you go there, you binge drink for three days. Right. And there's no air conditioning. That sounds like a nightmare. How are you breathing? I wouldn't. What are you doing? Also, this is what you chose to do before your wedding. It's funny because she was twerking the night before. Yeah. And now she has viral. Yeah, because it's relapsing. Basically. 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 Basically, well, the medic checks her and tells her to take her inhaler or gives her an inhaler. There's no way I think to know. He gives her an inhaler, probably right, like, but it's like all. right? But like you just kind of have that power, right? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know, right? All right, well, who is the what's the woman's name? Their coach. Oh, uh, so I they don't say her down. No, I said no, Dr. they don't Mike. say. They don't say her name. So they said it last week. It's something. yeah, but this week they didn't. They didn't say it not one time. And last they week. didn't even they didn't even tag her. All right. Oh, so all it's right. uh <laughs> Micaiah. I was gonna say Michaela. Okay, yeah. I was close. Micaiah, whatever. It's fine. Um, so she goes, Are you guys ready to turn up the heat today? Turn up the heat higher than this? There's not even air conditioning. There isn't a fan to be seen. They're eating dinner in a bikini because it's so hot. I could not imagine being there. That is a nightmare. Okay, I feel how like much you money? would like it more. At night? You wouldn't you like about- the nighttime. No, no. See, you wouldn't like the nighttime. But I feel like in the day, uh huh. if there's this pool and there's Yeah, I'd be beach, in the pool the whole time. You could be. I could not. I'd be submerged in water. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at night. Yeah. I wouldn't make it one night. No, I wouldn't live there. I would never sleep. I would never sleep again. I'd have to go there for the day. Right. And then I'd have to be taken to a hotel at night. Yeah. That I'd be like, excuse me, Ritz. I'm here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Carlton. Hello. It's me, Noel. It's Hello, Tracy. Carlton. It's Noel and Tracy. Are you ready for us? How much money? To stay there the whole time? Mm-hmm. How long are they there for? I'm going to say a week. Yeah, I don't think they're there for that long. So to stay there for a week, to sleep there, no air conditioning, uh, my number is going to be so much lower than yours. It's mm-hmm. like I could do it for like $2,000 a night. Yeah. Mm, okay, that's weird. I mean, I I told you I'm an easy sell. $2,000 a night and you're going to be on TV though. Uh-huh. You're going to do the show. $2, okay. $2, All right. So we'll do five. That's it. Yeah, I, I'm a pretty easy sell. I don't right. have any money. <laughs> I 
I need 300,000 to do this. <laughs> what is this, friends? <laughs> then you can't have me. Here's the you thing. I don't care because I don't want to do it. for the whole week? Mm-hmm. No, no. Like, yeah, for the whole week, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to ask for 300000 a week. Oh. Yeah. A night, yeah. 300000 Wow, wow. I'm in. I'm on TV and you're not. That's basically what you're saying. I'm going to be on TV. Yeah. Because I don't. That's crazy. I, that's, yeah. To, you have to stay up. I'm going to stay up for a week straight. I'm going to be very sick. Maybe you would just collapse after a while. Yeah, I'm going to be very sick. What if you snuck in like a portable air conditioner? We That's would do that. We would just order them from Amazon, I think. Yeah, but where would they deliver them to? And where's the window? Oh, fuck, there's no window. Right, there's we're nothing. in a basement. <laughs> That's This is the worst place in the world. This is hell. This is what hell is like. Yeah, I would still live there if you paid me enough, though. If I had to. Well, $2,000. If you paid me $10, I'd live there. If you gave me $5,000 a night, yeah, I mm-hmm. would do it. Hell yeah, I would do it for $5,000 a night. I wouldn't. Wow. I'm just a little more adaptable. I guess so. That's okay. You know what? Neither is better than the other. Well, I'd basically need $300,000 for the week. <laughs> I mean, basically. I, I feel like it's so weird if they're only there for a week and the other girls aren't even there yet. Like, there's still more people to do. Yeah, join. I would have to be the last person that came. That's what I was thinking. And then we leave that day. And then the first person to leave. Right. Like, I'd you're like, like, I'm here for one minute. Right. I'd be like, hey, guys, I'm actually at the Ritz. Right. I am at the Ritz. I'm at the Four Seasons. I'm going to drive over for the day and we could do something with building blocks on the beach. Well, that's like the last family reunion. Remember Kate came in for like an afternoon. Yeah. That would be me when they went and they sat in an air conditioned restaurant. Yeah. Thank you. Tracy would just come in. Yeah, for the I'll, listen, I'll go pull my mom into the mud with a right. rope. Okay. But then I'm going to go back to the four seasons. But if you expect me to stay there, it has to be for $300,000. That's crazy. I'll go there and pull my mom into a mud puddle for five grand a day. Okay, but not. But I stay. There. But I stay at the Four Seasons. Wow. Okay. Oh, Four Seasons, not the Ritz. Okay. Yeah, just more seasons. comfortable there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You see the difference between us guys, right? You, I know you're seeing it right now. I'm just saying. Opposites attract. <laughs> ah, that's it. <laughs> All right. So they're gonna go to the beach, and uh, while well, there's a. a hurricane oh my god there's like thunder and okay lightning. so they're gonna play a game that doesn't work there's no point of this it's not even that there's no point it uh-huh. physically doesn't work because you can't pile these because of the weather no also because you're not tall enough oh, because to they're do too it. tall yeah right. so what are we doing here we're put we're we're a prioritizing what is the most important or, or what you have to work on the most right yes so okay. it's like from least is the bottom to right. most is on top. So Kate and Ty, um, they intimacy have... is on the bottom. Right. And mm-hmm. then Kate says communications on the top. Right. And Ty's anger is on top. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Macy and Taylor need mm-hmm. to work on intimacy. Right. Then the thunderstorm comes and they're like, guess what? You die, you die. Put the blocks together, Zach and Cheyenne. And Cheyenne is like screaming. She's so scared. Why does she look so cute in this confessional? I know. She I'm really like, whatever does. she does, like, I want her, I want her face. I know. I know. I do agree she's with that. She's so cute. She's like cute she's as very a cute. freaking button. She is cute. Oh, God. All right. So Zach and Cheyenne um, need to work on intimacy and communication. Also, rewind for one second. Mm-hmm. Kate and Ty. Kate says her deepest PTSD from her childhood comes out is about anger. Yeah. When, when, uh, when Tyler gets angry. Yeah. And it's yeah, like, listen, here's the thing though. Probably is because April was probably an angry drunk. No, I know. But why are we always doing this? Tyler was telling Sean alcohol triggers you. Like, why do we always have to use these words? Cause that's why can't it do. just be like, we I'm going to tell you why. And we spend too much money. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Cause Kate and I don't have jobs. Right. They don't have, so jobs. they don't have a ton of things to focus on in their life. So they right. just go to therapy. They all they do is go to therapy and have sex every day. Mm-hmm. That's all they do. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. <sighs> so and take care of yeah. children. Gross. Well, that's true, too. OK, so Zach and Shannon have to work on intimacy and most of all communication. So See, this I is... didn't expect that from them. OK, well, I did because Zach clearly doesn't communicate very well. Why? 
you know, kind of like when you're driving and then someone's shooting at you and you're like, oh, my God, Cheyenne, I actually forgot to um, tell you that I lent some guy a lot of money mm -hmm. and I did not pay him back. And now he's going to kill you and the kids. Um, so what I'm trying to communicate is that there is a laser pointer on your head. You're going to get mm -hmm. shot right now. I'll never forget. She said it was a green laser pointer. I thought they only came in red. I mean, mm. listen, maybe this Who guy's knew? favorite color was green. But also his number one was intimacy. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't explain it. He said that doesn't mean sex. Well, he's saying that they're not like romantically connected, kind of like they they probably do the sex, but it's just like, you know, mindless. But they're not like connected, holding hands. They're not like day. mouth kissing, maybe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But right. and, and and OK, so then it's Corey and Taylor. Right. Uh, then she doesn't trust him because he cheated on her five years ago. Very specifically. What about when he cheated on you four years ago? What about when he cheated on you three years ago? Why did you have kids with him? Why do you have more kids with him? Right. Why did you have more than one child with him? Why did you have any children with well, him? Cheyenne said, quote, he was still in the streets. I mean, he was, he was still in the streets. All right. <laughs> so Tyler and Kate said that it would be divorced immediately if either one of them cheated. Because you guys cheated. don't know any. Remember when Kate cheated on Ty too? Yeah, of course yeah. I remember. Yeah. Also, you they guys don't know, don't know anyone. Else. Yeah. But you don't know anyone to cheat on the other person with. Because I feel like they don't, they have no social life. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, yeah, yeah. of course it would be. Because I'd be like, wait a minute, you went out? Right. What does that mean? And she'd be like, yeah, I actually cheated on you. He'd be like, sure. You <laughs> went outside? Right. With another What's it like out there? Without me? Right. My mom was going to watch the kids. Listen, mm -hmm. I will say this. Say Things, life can always be worse. Yeah. Because Taylor, man Taylor, has a Things That Matter beach shirt on. Did you notice this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course they do. That's all it's they like, have. They have to wear their merch because they're not selling it. But that's what I mean. They the live in a house built of t-shirts. I can't believe they still have this line. Their still roof has this leaks line. all the time because it's made of Things That Matter t-shirts. They just stuff it with the t-shirts. They they're like, just put another layer of t-shirts on it. <laughs> no and more Bentley's leather like, pockets. Mom, <laughs> if you guys take all the leather pockets off, you can shingle the roof. So their roof like is made Bentley, of leather. That's interesting. Get, Bentley, go get Jade <laughs> and have her take the pockets off. And you and Maverick need to tile the roof. You need to yeah, just it. have him go on your shoulders. Yeah, just shingle and the shingle roof. the roof. Shingle yeah, the roof. that works. That's it. <laughs> um, so now Corey cheated on Taylor five years ago, and she's four not years over ago it. Three years ago, right? But she's not over it. She can't get over it. So you know, I am so into if you can't get over something you can't be with the person yes absolutely so cheyenne feels bad for her and zach feels bad for Corey. i don't know who i feel bad for i think i feel bad for both of them because it's like she is giving that she's over it by continuing to be with him and having children right, with him and not me... trying to work it with him so what do you think he feels you okay, know so now also has he proven himself to you has he changed it all Right. I mean, I don't know. He must have changed a little bit for you to have continue having children with him. Or is your self-esteem very low? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. But I really like Kate's blue purple hair in the confessional, especially. Yeah. It looks so good. Her color of hair has been pretty good for the last a She bit. looks a lot better now than she, does. she used to. I feel like she just takes better care of herself. Mm -hmm. She also She's also doesn't... happy. She's happy, but she also doesn't do crazy things to her face. That's so true. She She's the do only anything. one. Yeah. She is the only one who is just what she is. Yeah, and that's guess true. what? She looks the youngest. Yeah, because even Taylor, she's filled with fillers. Yeah. It's like, I wish Kate didn't smoke because that's aging her. I forget that they smoke. They both smoke. They I smoke and drink. That. And that it's like, if you didn't smoke and drink, your face would be yeah, immaculate. That's true. Because otherwise you're going to wind up looking like April. Soon I enough. mean, you're on your way. You're well on your way. You're on your mm -hmm. way. Okay. So Jade and Sean. Mm -hmm. So the buyers went down on the offer, but they're going to accept it anyway. They don't have a choice. They have no money. That's the problem. The problem is guys. they're in debt because of their wedding and they probably cannot afford to eat. Yeah. Guys, what mm -hmm. are we doing? Yeah. How about like, let's get rid of the videographer. <laughs> let's. That's what you think the $45,000? No, you... no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, just like cut down also she spent 10 grand alone on her dress 
okay, then that's your big ticket item. You know what right. I mean? Like that's right. fine. everything then, can't be big ticket. Yes. Yeah. What are you I doing? Agree. No one cares. You're just trash from Indiana. Stop. It's also guys. It's just one day. It's just one stop. day. Stop just blowing stop. your whole load on this day. You So now you can have a house. You can't have a house. You have to accept an offer where you're going to make way less of a Come profit on, guys. because you're Come that on, guys. desperate. Come on. Well, Kate tells Tyler that Mackenzie and Josh are divorced and Tyler is glad that she's away from Josh. I wonder because they clearly knew something that yes. we don't know. Yes. And I'm sure Josh was like a little bit abusive. Yeah, of course, because he's like genuinely happy. He's like that she got away from him. Right. And that's a weird way to word it. That is a very weird mm-hmm. way to word it, especially for Tyler, who's like. Not sharp. aware of anything. Right. But no. no, no. But he's like no, you're sharp right. on mm-hmm. this situation. Oh, I'm sure that he probably notices every mm-hmm. chink in someone's armor. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, obviously, Jade and Cheyenne planned this, right? Of course they did. They're the host. Tracy, they're the host. They planned everything. But they invited everyone. He said that everyone always gets invited. And she said, quote, we always invite everyone. And Mackenzie's coming. Okay. So then Jade and Cheyenne invited Mackenzie. There's no way to know. Right. I just feel like, guys, I okay. see a little hole in your story here. I got to tell you, I learned a lot about that. I didn't realize how intense this Yo. was. Okay. Because I will tell you this for real. I, for a while, we just know that what we saw. Exactly. So I thought that Mackenzie said something very fucking ignorant. Sure. And that Cheyenne basically tried to teach her. And right. like, just like enlighten her, like, sure. hey, you are very ignorant. And then I didn't understand why yeah, they then weren't I like, okay after that. Yes. And I felt like, I felt Cheyenne. like Cheyenne wasn't being fair to her. Right. It's like, come on, man. What are you doing? Right. I was like, Cheyenne, like, how long are we going to hold on to you this? You educated her. So why now are we still on? holding on to this? Uh, yes. I really thought that. Okay. Same. Yes. And then we learn that when Mackenzie called Kamala Harris, mm-hmm. something extremely extremely mm-hmm. racist and inappropriate yes <sighs> she um so we're gonna i think well first they have it. their lingerie party yeah okay so yeah <laughs> let's, let's get there so kate and tyler kate um, has to make a sex basket for everyone okay so now plugs <laughs> tyler and i have the best intimacy of all the couples right because she said they have sex every day yeah of course they do because she will do anything i hate to be so mean but she'll do anything to keep tyler forever it's just mm-hmm. the truth mm-hmm. 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 so they're having a lingerie party and they bring in a butt plug with a tail attached to it okay i'm very i'm scared of this I'm, okay jade I'm, is passing away in bed from, jade is dying from basically viral pneumonia and, and sean has she, to stay with her and now she has a butt plug with a tail Right. I'd be blowing my nose in that butt butt plug. (laughs) Kate is, um, okay, so that's what, Taylor said that she has a mom body. Taylor, stop. Yeah, Taylor, you're gorgeous. Stop. Stop. And then Kate's like, well, I'm confident in my body. That's why I'm like, yeah, this is why this is happening. Corey, he wears a gladiator outfit with the whole butt out with the thong but also like everyone's like what and i'm like yeah i mean here's the thing i do feel like every group of people has a quarry in it and i think that there's a time and a place and it can be actually very fun sure but he but just not all is the time. never off he's never off he's he always has spent on. entirely too much time on the challenge that's the problem way too much time he has a yeah. tbi yes yeah what's that a traumatic brain injury. Oh, yes. He has he's fallen so off the town. bungee cords one too many times. That's what I mean. He's been underwater for 60 seconds too long. <laughs> he needs more uh, air. That's what we're saying. He yes. needs more air. Yes, he, needs he needs an needs inhaler. He needs a medic to bring him an inhaler. Somebody get Corey an inhaler, please. Kate tells Cheyenne about Mac coming with her boyfriend. And Cheyenne says, quote, mm-hmm. her and her new black boyfriend. <laughs> but like, why? Why, you know what? what I mean? Like, why do that? Oh, I thought that was I don't know. I, I know, but it's like, yeah, you know. no, Cheyenne. Here's the thing. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I don't know. I have to tell. I will tell you this. I did not know Mackenzie's boyfriend was Jamaican and had such a heavy accent. Okay, me either, because I've just seen pictures of him. Me too. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> Cheyenne said yeah. that uh, Mackenzie did not know 
anything about why what she said was wrong. That's so her Cheyenne, Okay. So mm-hmm. Cheyenne had a phone call and Cheyenne was like, fine. Mm-hmm. She had a phone call. Mm-hmm. She explained everything to her. Yes. She educated her. On she didn't know, even know about segregation. Like she right, did or the nothing. Jim Crow laws. She right. Did nothing, nothing, nothing. Right. So Cheyenne took her time, explained everything to her. And Mackenzie said, I can't take it. Thank uh-huh. you so much. Mm-hmm. You were so nice. My husband thought you were going to be an angry black. Could you really just die? I could have fainted when she said that. Then Cheyenne tweeted about ignorance. Right. And Mackenzie got mad at her. And then Cheyenne said, I do not accept your white tears. And then Mackenzie started crying on live. Right. And someone called Ryder's school. Someone called her parents' business. That's so A white crazy. woman came to her house to tell her that she doesn't like how she treated Mackenzie. Yeah. The thing is, like, we knew none of this. Again, this is why I was like, why is Cheyenne so mad at Mackenzie? I could not figure it out. Can it's you crazy. imagine no. that you just had a a, a conversation explaining racism to someone? Mm-hmm. And then they say that. I guess in my mind, I would be like, you know what? This dumb fuck is never going to get it. Yeah, it's like, actually, yep. never mind. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not wasting my breath on you. I don't know mm-hmm. how, I don't even know how angry I would be. I would almost feel like sympathetic. Like, oh, for you. This is how you were raised. It's really sad that I know, but are I still being raised this way. No, this is crazy. So yeah. Kate said that she's been working on herself for the last year and a half and like kind of to give her give um, her a chance. Give her a chance. I would too. Sure. Corey is now uh changed his outfit into a cop. Yeah. Corey is really he's having a good time. Okay. So they're also eating some big ass ants for uh pinga. This is why I think he's been on the challenge for too long. The spoonfuls. Okay. You're absolutely right. Right? This was nothing to him. He's like, you want me to eat one ant? I'll right. eat every ant. I've done I am an every ant eater. challenge. Right. I am an ant eater. That's the thing. It's like, he's done all he's of like, this before. He's like, I was a gladiator. I was a cop. Right. Now I'm an ant eater. Now I'm an ant eater. Yep. Give me and my Taylor's nose. Taylor's going to see my ant eater tonight. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, that was... Well, it's supposed to work. It's supposed to help. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. Yeah, he needs help, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure he does. So Corey takes spoons and spoons and spoons. So Then gross. he gets naked, jumps in the pool. Then Tyler gets naked and jumps in the pool. And Zach gets naked. And okay, I couldn't tell if he was naked or not. Oh, no, he was fully naked. Okay, that's pretty yeah. funny, though. See, this is like... And then Kate goes... Oh, no, Tyler says, this is free content. So, okay, that made me laugh so hard because then I'm like, if the show I think was just like that, I would enjoy yeah. it so much more. Take yes. out the therapy. Take out the blocks Take of hurricane. The, I don't need to know how many times a day you guys have sex. Like, let's just party we don't, and let me watch you guys dance stupidly. Thank you. You know? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, Kate is hung over the next day. They're dying. The Here's the problem. These, yeah. This cast should not really be drinking. A lot of them have a lot of problems. Of course. Around substances. So, like, what are we doing exactly? Well, because these networks, they don't care. Okay. Well, Jade is feeling better. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mike comes and Sean and Jade, it's their turn for therapy. Damn, I'm ready for it. She said that they were fighting about something pretty badly before she got sick. Right. They were fighting the night before. Like, Sean didn't want to participate. Right. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. She keeps saying, I need him to be more of the man in the relationship. I want to take a traditional role. Yeah. Why are we using these terms? It's so antiquated. No, I get it. I do get it. And I do know where she's coming from. Sure. But, but just, like, it's just not. I just feel like you and I have spoken about this before on these shows. Mm-hmm. There is just such a stereotypical white woman. So many times on these shows that are like, try to emasculate the man. Yes. And then and- they're like, why isn't he more of a man? Yes. And it's like, but you also would never give him the man role in the relationship anyway. Like it gets to a point where you mother a man so much, you have no attraction to him. And that's what happened. That is what happened. That's still what happened. And he's also so mean. He is just truly, he has always been so mean. So they talk about the moaning exercise and he said that he got too drunk. Yeah. Okay. You but you know what? Thank you for owning up to it. But then, they talk, he owned up to it. then they talk about her getting pregnant again. And she said that she had a hard time with Chloe. She had no help. She mm-hmm. was in a bad place. And it's like, yeah, I know we saw. 
Right. And then she's scared it'll happen again. Yes. She doesn't fully trust him. And I get that. Mm -hmm. She says she wants to be ready on her own time. She wants at least two more years. And um, the therapist said that they need to have more sex. Well, here's the thing. I think it finally clicked with Sean. Yes. Like what? Because I think at first he thought like, maybe she doesn't like me. Maybe this is about me. But meanwhile, it's like, it's actually, you don't even realize how much of a hard time she had. We know because we were there. He Hello? wasn't there Sean, for it. you weren't there. Me and Noelle yeah. were there. We were there. Who we was, saw when she went through with Chloe. Who was helping her with Chloe? Me and Noelle. We were. We were We were helping her. Sean, you refused to get even a job at Costco. Flashback. Yep. Flashback. That was crazy. You look at him, too, and you're like, wow, he looked bad. And mm -hmm. I did not even realize it until looking at him now. Right. But even now, it's like he still is who he is. Oh, no. He is who he is. Not at for me. At his core, he... He's a jerk at his core. He's not for me. Not for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guess who shows up? Mackenzie and her D lips. <laughs> Mackenzie's new lips walk in the door before she does. Okay. So unlike you, I really don't usually notice the teeth and lip thing. You can't not notice mm -hmm. her new right. lips. So we meet her boyfriend. His name mm -hmm. is Cassano. Yes. He's Jamaican. He's a teacher and a soccer coach. And they met online and she just gave him her number. What do you mean you met online? He probably slid into her DMs. I want to know more about yeah. that. Yeah. And they have a, a super fast relationship. Basically, they went on one date and they never, like, they were in a committed. Right. It was like, I want to see you tomorrow. I want to see right. you tomorrow. Okay. He fully has braces. I love braces, though. <laughs> he too. fully has braces because it means he takes care of his teeth. But his accent really threw me off I, just because I didn't know. I didn't expect it either. So I thought that he was, like, kidding. Okay, me like, too. We're on I was vacation. like, vacation. I thought yes. he was mocking a Jamaican too. accent. And I'm like, Me wait too. a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She <laughs> has some kind of bad base filler as well. Oh, it I didn't like notice she the almost filler. Has cheek filler that migrated down. I'm not sure. Guys, what do you think? Go into the Facebook group and mm -hmm. let me know what you think. Um, she said that she's really sorry about uh the comments. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to have an issue with anyone. She wants another chance, basically. Tyler's still hungover. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they suggest movie night and then dun dun dun. They walk in. They walk in. Listen, I will give her this. I've never been a fan of Mackenzie, but I can't imagine how hard it would be to walk into that room. So, like, good for her for doing it. I would be so anxious. But, like, I hope she sits with Cheyenne and I hope she makes good. And I think they do. I, I think they so. make up. I really do think Mackenzie, that. Mackenzie, please? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just glad that everyone's open to at least yes. hearing what she has to yes. say. Yeah. Because Cheyenne is kind. If nothing else, she is kind. I like her. Yeah, I like her, too. I don't really know why she's on Teen Mom, but I like her. <laughs> Same. Well, listen, yeah. we don't know why Ed and Liz are on Happily Ever After Same either. thing. Yep. <laughs> or anything 90 Day Fiance related. True that. Just saying, mm -hmm. guys, Um, check out our other podcast, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, Catfish Trash Talk. Go over to Patreon for Macaroni Rascals, a Jersey Shore podcast. So pumped to Vanderpump Rules podcast. Recycled with Noel and Michaels, a Jersey Shore. Uh, uh, Real Housewives of New Jersey. Why do I even do that? Real <laughs> Housewives of New Jersey, season two, uh, and some movies because Recycle goes to the movies sometimes too. Patreon.com <laughs> slash Trash Talk Podcast. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Tra Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. And uh, TracyCarnazzo.com for everything. You can just find everything right there. That's the easiest way to do it. TracyCarnazzo.com, mm -hmm. TracyCarnazzo.com, TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming stand-up tour dates. I even go on there to find out where you're going to be for Thank the you. weekend. I, I do, do. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I go on there to find out where That's I'm going to so be as funny. well. <laughs> So I'll see you guys next week. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Trash Talk mm -hmm. Podcast. If you're listening to this on audio, we are on YouTube. If you're listening to this on YouTube and you've seen enough of us, go subscribe to <laughs> us on audio. Thank you so much. Please comment, like, share, do all the things. Rate, comment, what's it? Rate and review. Follow us. Yeah. Subscribe. Okay, mm -hmm. bye. Bye.